Hello guys, in this quick video I want to show a practical example of policies in Laravel for roles and permissions and two examples from open source project called Pinkery, which is a project, well, public on the internet, but which has open source code on GitHub. So I want to emphasize two things, how you generally would use policy and how the documentation doesn't emphasize one thing, how you can use policies. So typically, in the docs of Laravel for policy methods, the example is update a certain record, like can a user update the post? And this is exactly how general policy is generated. So for example, if you do make policy for a certain model and then you open that policy, that model actually doesn't exist, it's just an example. So what are the methods generated? View any, like view the menu item, then view certain project, create, update, delete, and restore and force delete. So basically CRUD methods. And this is exactly one of the typical examples I wanted to show from Pinkery project. So if you go to homepage, you click any post which is called question in this project, you have ID of the question and the policy of who can see that question is this. So we have question policy, view method, whether the user can view the question. So the check if that question is not ignored or reported and check for the answer and the user of that question. And then in the question controller for that route, that policy is used with this line of code, gate authorize view, which is the method name for a specific question. So that view corresponds to the method name of view here. And that again is one of the typical examples generated by Laravel itself with make policy artisan command. So that's example number one. But example number two is what documentation doesn't emphasize that you can add whatever methods you want on top of those typical existing generated methods. So for example, if I want to pin the question, Pinkery has such a feature, I cannot pin someone else's question. I need to go to my profile and among my answers, I have this and pin functionality. And that pin is also a method in the policy, in the same question policy, one of the functions is pin with the condition of user for that question. So I cannot pin someone else's question to my own account. And then that pin method is used in a few places. So I've searched for pin in the whole code of Pinkery. GitHub search is great for that. And in the live wire component, which may be a controller, doesn't really matter that much. We have this authorize or gate authorize, again, method name and the model. And also on the front end to show or hide that ability is this. In the blade, auth user can, again, method name and model. So yeah, the same policy method is used both on the front end and on the back end. So what I wanted to emphasize with this video is in the policy, you shouldn't stop with the typical methods of Laravel. You can add whatever methods for more actions that you want from that model and then use them as a typical policy method in your controllers and blade files. If you want to learn more about roles and permissions in Laravel, recently we released a new course, roles and permissions in Laravel, that's the name, with two sections. First section is like simple cases of gates, policies, and spicy permission package, for example. And then the second section is a big complex case of a project with multi-roles, multi-clinics, it is multi-teams, with repository available on GitHub. So I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.